hey baddies welcome back to the channel so today is a little different than what we normally do i am going to be moving into my a5 size apartment binder um i'm gonna move over some money that i have been saving for a tesla and for like a new home since i decided to go ahead and move into an apartment so if you're interested in seeing me move all my stuff into this binder and then cash stuff the money into this binder stay tuned So this is ghetto. Um, I was I got some new markers and I was doodling the other night and I really liked it, but I was too lazy to turn on the laminator, so <laughs> I just put some scotch tape on it. So here's this. So I'm gonna use it as the very back cover of my book, just to bring in some color. And then I just went in and made me a few little dashboards. Here's one I'm gonna use for the front just to show that this is my apartment binder. I went ahead and made me a funds list just so that I can have a visual view of what I need to be saving the goals for each envelope. I'm shooting for nine months worth of rent and utilities, but I'm gonna start with six and we'll see how it goes from there. So you can see I have everything listed here, the totals I need for each fund. So we're gonna add that in. I'm also going to start saving my Fetch Rewards gift cards um, for when I move, like Target and Best Buy, just things to help for any unexpected, you know, little trips we need to take so I'm not having to go into my savings. And then I also made um, some dividers for each section. Um, so here I'll keep the envelopes. I made some trackers. A place for gift cards. I'm actually going to keep my YouTube taxes in this binder as well because these envelopes are huge. And so, you know, all the money will fit. That's the only reason why. It's completely, it has nothing else to do with this. And just miscellaneous stuff that I've been, I've never like lived in an apartment. So as little charges come up that I don't, I didn't necessarily plan for, I want to have a place for those as well. So I'm going to go ahead and add those into the binder. now in the saving section is where we are going to place I want this at the back so I'm gonna go ahead and place in my envelopes so here we have um, deposit six months rent furnish the bathroom furnish the living room furnish the bedroom random kitchen stuff six months of utilities Internet, toiletries, and household supplies, miscellaneous stuff. So, let's go ahead and add these in. See if we can get them all in one run here. Nope. Fail. Okay. So, now we've got all of our envelopes in. These are huge. But I just figured it would be larger amounts of money, so I also wanted to try the A5 envelope. <clears throat> so at the back of those, I have my goals here, just to keep me on task. And up next is our trackers. So I went ahead and made, I saw somebody, I don't know if I was on Pinterest or somewhere, and I saw some trackers similar to this, and I couldn't find who was selling them. So of course I just made my own. You know how you see something and you forget to save it and then you want it later? And so it was really a simple document. So I just went in and made me some in Canva. And so anyway, it has the goal for my sinking fund and the amount. I put a little space for target date, but I'm not sure about that yet. And so then it breaks down what each hexagon is worth. 
so that once it's full, I'll know that that fund is fully met. So each of my envelopes has one here. Just another, y'all know I love to color in trackers as I save or whatever. So Let's see if they're gonna fit in here. Oh yeah, perfect. Okay, so there's our trackers. So we're gonna go ahead and add these in. Up next is our gift card section. And I don't have any gift. Well, I have some gift cards, but I need to pull the info off of Fetch. So I'm going to keep a little folder here for those. Or, you know, if someone gifts us a gift card or whatever. Up next are our YouTube taxes. And I already moved those into here. It, like, is barely <laughs> made a dent. So this was definitely a good move to hold my tax money for the year. And last but not least is our miscellaneous here. And actually for this one, I threw together some, look at this, get all that space in between. I threw together some um, dividers for renter's insurance, homeowners association, Wi-Fi like, um, what was I gonna say? You know, like the router fees and all that stuff, just so that's back here. And then phone is just, um, I can't remember why I did that. There was a reason. I just can't think of it right now. So I'm going to put these dividers into the miscellaneous fund. And I left a few of it open. I was going to say available. Just in case something else comes up that I haven't thought of. So. There's that. So now we have everything in here. It's so cute. Look at the back. Doesn't that pop of color just make a huge difference? It's so cute. Okay, so next I'm going to go ahead and stuff these. So what I want to do first is pull out my goal sheet. I'm going to sit it up here so I can see it. And where I'm going to take the money from, actually... So I had one of my sponsorships come through, so I went ahead and paid myself back for life insurance. So it's actually all paid, the life insurance bill paid my um, savings account back. So I'm actually going to take the money I had saved in there, and we're going to put it in our apartment binder. And then... I'm also, so every month when I do my new home envelopes, I've been putting that money in here as well as some extra hundreds because I was saving for a Tesla, but that's not happening this year. So we are going to put this money towards the apartment as well. And I also have, you know, like my manifest um, envelope and all that stuff, but we'll stuff that. Um, we'll, st we'll pull it out in the cash stuffings. So, let's see what we have here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, two thousand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, three thousand. One, two, three, four, five, five, fifty, six, six, fifty, six, seventy, six, eighty. So we have $3,680 to distribute here amongst our funds. So I'm going to try to give everybody some love today instead of just paying off one thing. So let's look here at our goals. Let you guys see. So I'm going to go ahead and attack what I can here. So, for our deposit, I'm going to go ahead and pay that. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 1,000. That's pretty much like the first step out the gate. Um, and I know we talked about the price last time, but my niece actually decided she wants to pay half of everything. So, now I only have to save half, which is a huge relief. So instead of saving up the $2,000 deposit, I'm saving one. Because you know we'll be in a two-bedroom. So she says she's a big girl now. She can do it. So 
Um, all right, so our deposit, we have $1,000 there. Um, should I do my trackers now? I feel like I should. No, no, we'll do them later. So next month, in, next, next up, we have six months rent. Let's see. I'm going to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, a thousand, eleven hundred. We'll put eleven hundred in here. So we're closing in on our first month's rent. So I need fifteen hundred dollars per month. Furnish the bathroom. Let's give it. So in our bathroom, it doesn't have shower curtains, it has glass doors. So I won't need a whole ton, only about $750 there. So we'll put 200 and we're well on our way. Furnish the living room. We need about $2,000 there. We want to get a really good couch. So let's do $300 there. That'll get us going. Furnish the bedroom. I also need $2,000 there. But I'm going to buy a new bed, the same bed I have. But my bed is really heavy. So I'm going to sell the one I have and buy a new one. So I'm saying I need $2,000, but I'm hoping to recoup some of that when I sell my bed. So I'm going to do... Mm, I'm going to do $300 there as well. All right, random random kitchen items. So the kitchen is fully furnished. We just need like a set of dishes, pots, pans, and we also need some stools for our island. So I set aside $800 for that. So I'm going to go ahead and do, um, I'm just gonna do 100 in there for now. Six months utilities. So that is a total of 2,500 for me since we are splitting those. So I'm going to go ahead and put um, 300 in here. For our internet, the total is 900 for six months. So I'm gonna put 50 for now. Toiletries, we have a thousand dollars that'll cover everything from laundry detergent, dish detergent, all of that. So we're gonna add a hundred dollars there. Miscellaneous, um, miscellaneous household items, household supplies. I have fifteen hundred just for any, just in case. So we're gonna go ahead and add a hundred dollar bill there as well. Okay, so that's all of our envelope stuffed. I'm going to skip past the trackers for now. I don't have any gift cards to add. Nothing for YouTube taxes. But I will go ahead and put some money in miscellaneous bills. I want to go ahead and add 62 um, renter's insurance. Okay. And then 60 in our HOA. I've heard that the place has an HOA. I'm scheduled to talk to somebody Monday. So I just want to start saving just in case. But if there isn't, I will move that money up to Renters Insurance. So there's that. We've got everything packed. Um, Do I want to fill out the trackers on camera? So in deposit, our deposit is actually full. So let's go ahead and color in everything. got our deposit money for six months rent we need nine thousand dollars total each hexagon is worth two hundred and twenty dollars so one two three four five six seven eight nine one thousand eleven hundred for this fund we get to color in five
so we're making progress here on our six months of rent furnish the bathroom has a goal of 750 so that's $19 per spot we have 200 so we will color in 10 spots here got those first three kind of gives you a view of your progress to see where you have to go this up is our living room we have a goal of two thousand dollars forty nine dollars a spot so we'll be doing six spots here <laughs> The bedroom fund is $2,000. That's $49 a spot. So do. So we'll be doing six spots here as well. Okay. So up next is our random kitchen items. We have a goal of $800 here. Um, so that makes for $20 per spot. So we have a hundred bucks here. So that will be five spots. Six months utilities is up next. Six months utilities, our goal is $2,500. Each spot is $61. And shout out to y'all who left comments encouraging me to go for this in the last video. Y'all are the best. Our internet is 900. I have 50 in here. They're 22 a piece, so I'm going to color two spots. Okay. Our toiletries are 1,000. They're $25 a piece. I have $100 in there, so I'll be coloring in four spots. Here we have our miscellaneous household items. Our goal for this fund is $1,500, so that's $37 a piece. Two, so we only get to color in two spaces on this tracker. Okay. And so that's everything for our apartment savings. So I have miscellaneous bills back here, but I'm not gonna bother tracking those. So as you can see here, we're already making pretty good progress. And I will be stuffing this with manifest money from now on um, out of my, let me just show you. Fund here will be funding the apartment binder from now on, as well as maybe my bill envelope. I'm working on a solution for that now. Because I think my month ahead fund is going to, I don't know, I'm going to figure out how to work that where um, eventually the month ahead fund rolls into here as well. Because again, those will be my, I'll have new bills. That's everything for today. 
I'm going to get these put back in here. If you stayed this long or you even watched this video, thank you. This is, again, going to be a part of my journey. My finances will change as I move into a new space, as I get prepared to move into a new space. So this month, you'll actually see things change up a little bit because my savings goals are different. Ultimate goal was to pay off student loans this year, but um, for mental health reasons, my apartment is a little bit more important. So I think I'm going to keep going gung-ho on student loans until May when the interest kicks back in. Then I'm gonna pull back a little bit and apply more of that money towards these goals. And then once these goals are met and I'm in my new place, we'll kick it back in gear. Or, you know, I didn't be more diligent with savings challenges so that more of that money can go towards loans and we'll kick it that way. Either way, we'll get them both done. It just may change up a little bit because, you know, your budget changes with your life and this is, you know, this is a part of my life now, so enjoy it, okay? So thank you guys so much for watching. If you are, like, super into this binder, let me know, and I can order some larger binders and try to offer some form of this kind of binder. Because um, I know I'm not the only person moving into a new space, a new home or whatever, and this is really beneficial for me, like, to keep me on track as far as saving. So, you know, just let me know. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for being a part of this community. Thank you for always being so encouraging, so loving, so supportive. I read every comment. I may not always comment back because, whew, it'd be a lot of them. But I appreciate you all for the encouraging words. For your kindness, it doesn't go unnoticed. Y'all have a really great day. Bye. Da ba 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 da ba